What's the worst injury you've seen in jail? You've witnessed yourself. Someone's lights turn off. Like this. We need a demo room, boy. Mm. This is the door. Mm. This is the body. That's the guy's head. Mm. This film contains scenes of violence that some viewers may find distressing. From the moment you land in prison, it's survival of the fittest. Living like this in jail, boy. My name's SP. I've been to prison and paid my dues for the crimes I've committed. But you wouldn't believe some of the stuff that goes on inside unless you saw it with your own eyes. You end up like this down there, crispy. I'm out now and I ain't planning on going back. These days, I work with reformed prisoners who share their experiences of being inside to try and deter young people from making the same mistakes we did. That's why I started filming on the phone, to show the outside world what prison life is really like. I'm not the only one. Phones are commonplace, and that's a massive problem for the prison system to deal with. Yeah, this boy makes some money, bro. Are you conceding all this? I'm not All over the UK, prisoners are filming their daily lives. Yo, I'm pause up in there right there. To document what goes on behind prison walls, they're posting them onto social media sites every day. If they get caught, they're facing extra time in prison. Despite that threat, the footage provides a raw insight into the state of the prison service. Granite, granite. Savage, let's get it! So what you're about to see and hear is an exclusive, unfiltered and unprecedented look at what life is really like in prison, which may be distressing for some viewers. If you get caught with that, what can happen? Extra days. From what I witnessed and filmed on the inside, UK prisons are understaffed and struggling to control what prisoners are up to. But most people on the outside have no idea what life's really like in prison. Would you say to people outside that are saying that jail is easy? I would say they haven't got the first idea about prison. Prison is not easy, i.e. would you like to live in a box? Nah. Four walls. Nah. You understand what I'm saying to you? How can prison possibly be easy? Exactly. Yeah. You're deprived. You got a sink and a toilet and a bed yeah. and a TV, and you're living in these four quarters. Yeah. Six by six. You're away from your family. Yeah. How is prison possibly easy? And what? whoever says prison's easy, they're a mug. See, for me, jail is easy, yeah. but I've got a strong head on me. So Some people, you're coming in and you'll crumble. Yeah, yeah. Huh? Depends what sort of person you are. People getting robbed for their phones. Everything. For their, <laughs> for their, for their burn tobacco. Everything. How do you think people outside perceive prisoners? In all different ways. Do you know people see programmes on the television, yeah, and they sort of get sucked in and they, that's how they think it's, it is. People will read a news, newspaper cutting. That's kind of like, that's what prison is for people outside, like across the board. If you've been to jail, you understand a little bit more, but for somebody that has never been to prison, yeah, they have no clue what goes on inside the prison four walls. Prison has its official rules, but it's the unofficial, unwritten rules you really need to be aware of, especially if you want to make it easier to survive your time inside. The do's and don'ts in prison. Like, imagine like someone that's never been jailed before, right? Don't get yourself involved in other people's business. That's yeah. one way. Do you, do you, do yourself. Don't worry about what everybody else is doing. It's how you present yourself, you know? It's, it's how you come across with, you, with your manners, how you talk to people and... I mean, what, what, what would you say that they shouldn't do? What, 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 give, me, give me some more on that. Don't show, like, I don't know, don't show weakness. Also, don't talk to people in a way where it'll get their back up to be, get a good idea. You get on the wrong side of people, you will get fucked up. Yeah. 100%. Like, it's better to be in with people than it is out with people. Seeing it first hand, the way people talk to other people, for the repercussions, consequences of that, yeah? As soon as you land here, lads, you're gonna get it, you're gonna get, you're gonna get opened up on site, you're gonna get on pits. With a drug epidemic, overcrowding and violence a major issue in UK prisons, some prisoners feel the need to arm themselves with self-made weapons. 
Jail is the closest thing you'll get to death without being in the grave. That's what jail is. People tell me all the time, oh, I don't want to get into problems, I don't want to beef, I want to keep my head low. Well, guess what? You're in jail, my brother. Just stay in the road. You know what I'm saying? Stay in the road. Once you're in jail, you gotta do what you gotta do to survive. You want one of these. Okay. You want one of them. Okay, how do you make that? How do people make that? Preference, man. How do people make it? Just. Yeah, they're about, man. Yeah. I understand. It's all it is. Now we're dealing with the garage here. Let me be simple. Let me stay home. That's it. Do you need that to survive in prison? 100%. So much kids in here nowadays. Gang this, gang that. These are the type of lethal weapons that could be found in a YOY in the UK, such as Felton. This bit here is the case to surround the blade when they're concealing it in their pants. This piece of glass was originally found in a classroom of a teacher, so they can use it as a weapon to fight off any other members of the opposition. When someone does attack you, there's minor consequences, yeah? They'd get either a nicking or adjudication, and that's nothing. They'd be back on the wing, mixing with you within seven days if you guys do mediate. You know what I mean? Why why is it dangerous? Cause everyone in the why why the kids, you know what I mean? The loose screws. Oh shut up! I'm there, bro, you snitch! You snitch! I can't let you snitch, bro. You little snitch! You little snitch! You little snitch! You little snitch. To be called a snitch is one of the worst things that can happen to you in prison. It can have really serious consequences, and disputes about who's snitching go on all the time. You're done out here! You're done out here! You're done out here! You're a rugged ass 20 year old man, bro! Stop your mum, fam! Yeah, what? So, what happened? Obviously, yeah. If someone's tracks you, you got robbed. I suspected the biggest tramp on the wing. Mm hmm. But you got into that middle? No. Mm. Got into a dispute. Yeah, with someone called us from Brixton, Snitch. You lot are hotting up the team! Hey, my brother can't hold on. This guy's a nerf, fam. He's a little rubbed out Brixton you, fam. He's a nerf, fam. Hey. They had him up in the cell, well, mum's life. My man snitched on me. They come for weapons and bag these mash. We don't want to cut a long story short. Let's hear it, Abdi. Oh. What did you hear? Anyway, man heard that, man heard that. Beep, beep. I'm saying, okay, bro, like, that's DST. Dedicated so, search team. Jail yourself. police. Jail police. Guy's got a barrier, innit? So they open the door. The, old, the door's open, but it's slammed shut. So Kai's like, one minute, one minute. Kai's trying to bag the mash. Not yeah. bank it, but she's trying to get rid of it, yeah? Where's chicks me quickly? Where's chicks me? Like, like your phone in put your Put the phone crack. in between your bum. Your yeah, ass crack. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sitting on my bed, I'm thinking, DST have fucked my life up. They've taken my mash, they've taken my boyfriend licking, Pussy, took my SIM card, my main SIM card, gone. Everything. What was you doing in that SIM card? Was you doing that mess? Oh, brother, don't say I, too much. No don't comment. Don't say too much. Yeah, yeah, no comment. Don't comment. Yeah, man, don't chat about my business and them thing there, but obviously I don't do nothing <laughs> no in comment, it. Man's bro. a good man in it, like, man. No comment in it, yeah. But they gave him a nick in, they took him off basic, they put him on basic again, they took him off basic, put him back on basic. Basic means losing privileges. So no TV, no canteen, minimal money. But even then, some prisoners find creative ways to get by. Think I you're on basic. Basic rider, my boy. You took your TV? No, they can't take my TV. What do you mean they took your TV? They can check under there, B. What about when they do the checks? Yeah, they can't see that, fam. You have to go lower than that. What? What? Mm. Damn! Damn! Where's the other one? Where's the other one? Where's the other one? Where's the backup team? Where's the backup one? Where's the backup dog, sir? <laughs> She's over there, brother. <laughs> Cold. Oscar, 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 wait, Oscar think that they stopped, man, innit? Yeah? Yeah. But, wallahi, they haven't. Well, why would they, they stop you? Huh? Why would they stop you? Because, what? <laughs> Bamba clock, wallahi, they haven't. But mm -hmm. now, you get me? You know what that my thing style, innit? Yeah? <laughs> we just come out with a hello. All right. Yeah. Let me see. Let me see. Everything good. Everything good. Oh, oh, oh. 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 The fact that it's so easy for prisoners to get hold of phones on the inside when it's illegal is just one example of how the prison system is in crisis. Mini Zankos are considered by prisoners to be the creme de la creme of mobile phones. Why? because they are so small that they're easy to stash and they fit nicely up your backside. If you get caught with that, what can happen? Extra days. 
What, extra, extra days and that? Extra time in prison? Extra time in prison on top of your sentence. What about if you just get caught with a smartphone? Even more extra days, brother. Probably outside charges. You can get back to the match, you'll get another one. Same day! Same day! Same day! Same day. Same day. Same day. Next hour! Hour! Ah. Ah. One hour! Ah. I had, to, I had to pay the price. Oh. When prisoners are found to be breaking the rules, they can face serious punishment. No one wants to be banged up for 23 hours a day in solitary confinement, aka the block. Yo, my brother. Morning. So, morning, morning. Today's a, today's a kind of serious day today. Where you got to go right now? We'll go down to the block, bro, which is segregation unit, bro. It's aka CSU. You go in front of a governor for like your nickens, which is like. It's like prison, prison punishment. And what punishment can they give you, like, solitary confinement and that, if you get found guilty? Yeah, you solitary confinement, they give you loss of canteen, they can give you losses like TV privileges, forfeit your earnings, like you get 50%. If the governor decides you're guilty of breaking prison law, you'll be sent to the block with nothing but your thoughts to keep you company. Can I show you about to go down there for right now? It's going to soak some of that fucking hooch. Fermenting liquid. Ooh. An improvised weapon fashioned out of a piece of plastic cutlery. So green leafy substance, believed to be cannabis. Cannabis. Hopefully I'm gonna beat it, but yo. To avoid going to the block, some prisoners try to bribe others to take the rap for them. But this doesn't always work. Someone who's gonna come up and say that I was under duress and in debt to them, that which is really true, if you know what I mean. Yeah. I was really under that man for the benefit of the tape. So he's gonna turn up and say that he that was all his stuff. Yeah, basically I was holding it for him, and he's put like a disclaimer to say that he wasn't under pressure to write, and it was witnessed by an officer as well. And for the assault, so you yeah. fight, man. First it started off with an IEP for a play fight, and then for the shebang as well. Just a We've got a weapons amnesty that was between that date and that date, so. In that date when man got bagged, I didn't have time to hand it in anyway. So regards, we got backup. There's backup as well still. There's backup to all this. So you're going to try and start the book with that, yeah? yeah, yeah Even yeah. when you try and bust the nickel anyway. Regardless, regardless, man. In this case, the governor didn't believe the prisoner and he was sent to the block as punishment. Yeah, yeah, man, I've been there, done that. What's it like? how strong your, your brain and your mind is, you get me? How strong you are as a human. Solitary confinement is harmful to mental health. It causes increased anxiety, depression, insomnia, and a risk of self-harm. If you can go there and be there, you can go there and be there. If you go there and you break down, that's it, game over. Between 2013 and 2019, more than 50 prisoners have died in solitary confinement in UK prisons. How long, how long, what's the longest time you spent in the block? 14 days. <sighs> long time. Two weeks in a block. No TV, nothing. No, nothing? Nothing. Blood all over the walls. Pig, shit all over the walls, man. Have you ever been to solitary confinement? That's the block. A few times. What's the longest time you spent in solitary confinement? Eight months. Eight months? You do not come out your soul. When you do come out your soul, you come out for exercise and a shower. Oh, handcuffed no. up. You put your hands through the door, get handcuffed up, stand at the back wall. The officers come, stand at the side of you and walk you to the showers or exercise. Proper mental health in there, isn't it? Yeah, because you, you're banged up. You come out for half an hour a day. You ain't got no one really to talk to. Like, if the gubs don't like you, you're in trouble. Yeah, they beat you up down there, don't they? Yeah, they give you a little, give you a few slaps in there. I've heard some boys get their knuckles cracked on that in there. You can run it two ways, innit? Yeah, you can either, like, give them what they want, the screws want, which is you for them to break it down, innit? Yeah, or take what I did, innit? Yeah, luckily I was allowed a radio, yeah, and a block encoding me, so I just partied up. I'll tell you what, yeah, I've been in, I've been in one, I've got the radio actually here. See, that's a block radio. Oh, is that a block radio? It's a yeah? block radio, yeah. What you do, you wind a little up. Oh, shit. That's it. Yeah. But, see when you hit down here, you don't get a good reception. Yeah, yeah. I don't know what it is, but that's a block radio. I haven't been on a golden tank going, trust me. Yeah, it's not nice. Nah, I just want to just ride my bird, get home. 
Avoiding being seriously battered or even killed is the ultimate test of survival. That's made harder if you run into enemies from the outside on the inside. This assault was revenge for what they believed to be a targeted attack on a well-known drill rapper. So what happens? What are you in jail for? I'm in jail for Rico. Let me see my face. No, what are you in jail for, brother? I'm in jail for Rico. What are you in jail for, brother? Rico, bro. Bro, drop the bang in your face for the M. Man, go drop the bang in your face for the M. Investigation for the M. Brother. Ah! 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 In prisons, with tension so high, even the slightest disputes can have fatal consequences. What is the worst injury you've seen in jail? You've witnessed yourself. Someone's lights turned off. When you say lights turned off, what do you mean by that? Everything's turned off from the hearts. Everything's just dead. Yeah. It's dead. I've seen a murder in jail. That really happened? That really, really, really happened. How did, how did he get killed? With his head. Slammed in a fucking prison door. Well, like, like that? So his head wedged into that door? Like this. We need a demo, rude boy. Yeah. This is the guy. This is his head. This is the door. Mm. This is the body. That's the guy's head. Mm. Mm. Dirty. That simple. Lights out. No, no. Class. You see it? See it. That must still be in your mind right now. I'm a cold fucking guy. You see my heart? I witnessed it. I witnessed a lot of things in jail. I don't carry things. Yeah? But let me tell you something. I don't take violation and I won't see another prisoner. Yeah? Get violated for nothing. The geezer violated and he deserved, he deserved it. Simple tip.